it is received in india but where the income generated income generated in india so what is the treatment yes taxable 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 received in india again we have the word received in india if you just look into this word received in india what you are supposed to do you have to assume that it is taxable in all the three columns agriculture income is exempted under section 10 subsection 1 of income tax act 1961 because in order to motivate the farmers hello everyone i am arun kumar lecturer in department of commerce and management vidyashram prescrit college the temple of excellence mysore dear students welcome to this new session session number 2 on unit number 2 the chapter name is residential status and incidence of tax so in the last session we discussed about what is residential status under section 6 of the indian income tax act 1961 and how to determine the residency status of an individual and what are the types of residential status we have mainly we have three types which are those yes ordinary resident not ordinarily resident and non resident and what and all the conditions they are supposed to satisfy to become a resident not ordinary resident or non resident and we also solved one problem with respect to computation of the scope of total income of an individual person under the residential status so now we will be continuing to solve the problem with respect to computation of tax incidence under residential status so problem number 2 mr sunil earns the following income during the previous year 22 23 mr sunil earns the following income during the previous year 22 23 by using this you are supposed to find out the gross total income of an individual person under resident not ordinary resident and non residential head so the first point what we have the first point interest from an indian company received in germany indian from indian company okay dividend from indian company received in germany wherever it will be received but where the income is generated the income is generated in india right income is generated in india so any income accrued arised or generated are to be received or received in india what is the tax incidence it is taxable 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 am i correct yes taxable 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 because it is a indian income where it is received it doesn't matter but it is a indian income next pension from former employer in india received in uk again here the mention in india but received in uk it is received in india but where the income generated income generated in india so what is the treatment yes taxable 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 very easy next one income from companies in usa and received in india yes income from us company but where it is received it is received in india so any income accrued arised or received in india what is the treatment yes taxable 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 very easy next one income from agriculture in usa but received in india yes again we have this word received in india wherever you see this word received in india then the treatment will be very easy it is taxable 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 next income from employment in japan received there yes it is income from japan and it is also received there itself so it's a foreign income but not foreign business it is foreign other than business income what is the treatment taxable not taxable not taxable next one past untaxed profit brought to india that means the earlier days or earlier year profit it is not taxed in the earlier year and now it is brought to india but here we are solving the problem with respect to the previous year not to the previous previous year okay so this will not come under the head it is not taxable at all because we are taxing the previous year income in previous year income not any other incomes so this will not come in the picture because because it is not relating to the previous year so what is said compute gross total income gti of mr sunil for the assessment year 
2324 so under residential status that is resident not ordinary resident and non resident so now we got to know the tax incidence directly we can easily solve the problem so format is very simple particulars ordinary resident not ordinary resident and non resident four columns what is the first point we have interest from an indian company received in germany interest from indian company received in germany okay what is the amount the amount is rupees 1 lakhs amount is 1 rupees 1 lakh so interest or the income is generated in india right what is the treatment taxable 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 so what is the value 1 lakh 1 lakh and 1 lakh easy okay next pension from former employer in india received in uk so here also the income is generating in india so what is the treatment taxable 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 so what is the amount it is rupees 2 lakhs right so now here you are supposed to write 2 lakh 2 lakh and 2 lakh next one income from companies in usa and received in india again we have the word received in india so what is the treatment taxable 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 so what is the amount it is rupees 1 lakh so now what you are supposed to do you are supposed to write 1 lakh in all the three columns so 1 lakh 1 lakh and 1 lakh finished what is the fourth point that is income received from agriculture in usa and received in india again we have the word received in india if you just look into this word received in india what you are supposed to do you have to assume that it is taxable in all the three columns so what is the amount received it is rupees 10000 the amount received is rupees 10000 so now you are supposed to write 10000 in all the three cases 10000 10000 and 10000 next income from employment in japan received there so income from employment in japan received there what is the value we have for that it is rupees 20000 it is a foreign income but not foreign business it is foreign other than business what is the treatment taxable not taxable not taxable so rupees 20000 nil nil because only it is taxable in first column that is under resident column next past untaxed profit brought to india past untaxed profit that means it is not relating to the previous year it is relating to previous previous year so here it is nil because we will not tax the past untaxed incomes so now total the all three columns so first column 1 lakh plus 2 lakh 3 3 plus 1 4 4 plus 1 uh, 10 000 4 lakh 10 000 plus 2 lakh or 20 000 it is totally 4 lakh 30 000 next second one 1 lakh plus 2 lakh 3 plus 1 4 4 plus 10 000 4 lakh 10 000 so total 4 lakh 10 000 next 1 lakh plus 2 lakh 3 plus 1 4 lakh 4 lakh plus 10 000 4 lakh 10000 so third column also 4 lakh 10000 so if he is a resident of india then he supposed to pay tax on 4 lakh 30000 if he is not a resident of india he supposed to pay tax on 4 lakh 10000 if he is non resident of india then he supposed to pay tax on 4 lakh 10000 got it i hope all of you understood how to solve the problem so now we'll move on to the next problem from the following information of mr gautam compute as income if he is a ordinary resident not ordinary or non resident of india first point interest on singapore development bond rupees 150000 one third received in india one third received in india so what is the one third amount here 150000 what is the one third of 150000 it is 50000 So fifty thousand is taxable, taxable, taxable. Why? Because this fifty thousand is received in India. So remaining one lakh, two by third is one lakh. It is taxable, 
not taxable not taxable because it is not received in india it will be considered as foreign other than business income treatment is taxable not taxable not taxable very easy next income from agriculture in sri lanka income from agriculture in sri lanka the amount is not received in india it is received there itself so what we are supposed to assume we have to assume that it is a foreign income that to foreign other than business income treatment is taxable not taxable not taxable with respect to agriculture income next income from property in mexico received there again this income received in mexico itself not in india so foreign other than business income treatment is taxable not taxable and not taxable taxable not taxable not taxable next income from business in kuwait controlled from mumbai that means it's a business okay it's a business and business is controlled from india there is a business in kuwait and it is controlled from mumbai mumbai is in india rupees 85000 what is the treatment yes taxable taxable not taxable very easy next dividend from indian company received in nepal dividend from indian company so company is in india income is generated in india okay so what is the treatment now any income accrued arised or generated or received in india treatment is yes taxable 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 very easy next one profit from business in chennai but the business is controlled from singapore so the business is in india itself okay if the business is in india itself we need not to worry about from where it is controlled so if it is in india then income is generated in india so what is the treatment yes taxable 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 very easy so you can see the solution part so interest on singapore development bond 1 by 3 received where it is received in india and income from agriculture in sri lanka okay na it is taxable not taxable not taxable next income from property in mexico received there again taxable not taxable not taxable next income from business in kuwait controlled from mumbai what is the treatment taxable taxable not taxable so 85000 85000 nil next dividend from indian company received in nepal okay it's a indian company so it is taxable taxable and taxable okay taxable taxable and taxable next profit from business in chennai but it is controlled from foreign company but it is a income of it is a income of india so if it belongs to india if the income belongs to india what is the treatment the treatment is very simple it is taxable taxable and taxable so amount 225000 225000 225, and 225000 so now what you are supposed to do you are supposed to total all the three columns in first column you will get 916 okay second column will get 5 lakh 4000 third column will get 4 lakh 19 thousand so this is how you are supposed to solve the problem now we move on to the next problem problem number 4 from the following information of mr raj compute his income if he is ordinary resident not ordinary resident and non resident of india pension received in india okay so here received in india we have this word received in india so what is the treatment if it is received in india simple yes taxable 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 we will not look into anything else if it is received in india taxable 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 finished agriculture income in india so as we all discussed in unit number 1 we have certain exemptions under section 10 of the income tax act 1961 under section 10 we have this income also agriculture income is exempted under section 10 subsection 1 of income tax act 1961 because in order to motivate the farmers in order to motivate the farmers we are not charging any tax on the income earned by the farmers so this is exempt agriculture income from india it is exempt but from agriculture income from foreign country it is taxable from foreign country it is taxable but if it is earned if agriculture income earned in india it is exempt next income from business in chennai received in england it is received in england but where the income generated in chennai chennai is in india so what is the treatment 
Yes, very easy. Taxable, taxable, taxable. Next, interest on US bonds relating to foreign company uh, or foreign uh, you know income the two foreign other than business treatment is what taxable not taxable not taxable next past untaxed income brought to india it is not taxable at all because we are taxing the previous year income not any other incomes next profit from business in uk controlled from india foreign business controlled from india what is the treatment yes taxable taxable not taxable Taxable, taxable, not taxable. The business is in foreign, but it is controlled from India. So it is the reason why we are taxing it in first two columns and exempting or we are putting nil in the third column. Last one, dividend received from domestic company. Domestic company is the thing, but Indian company. So where we are receiving the dividend in India itself. So what is the treatment? Taxable, taxable, taxable. Very easy. If you segregate like this while you are reading the problem, it is very easy to solve the problem. So now we look into the answer part. So first one, the first point, pension received in India, as I said, it is taxable, taxable, taxable. Agriculture income in India, it is exempt, no? We put nil, exempt, 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 it is nil. Next, income from business in Chennai received in England. It is a Indian income, so taxable, taxable, and it is taxable. Next, interest on US bonds, it is foreign other than business, so taxable, year nil, nil. Next, past untaxed income. If you see this word, past untaxed income, it is nil in all the three columns because we are not taxing this income in this particular assessment year. Next, profit from business in UK, controlled from India. So taxable, taxable, nil, 50,000, 50,000, nil, because it's a foreign business, but it is controlled from India. So that is why it is taxable, taxable, not taxable. So now total the all three columns. In the first column, you'll get 3 lakh. Second column, you'll get 2 lakh, 10,000. And the third column, you'll get rupees 1 lakh, 60,000. So this is how we are supposed to solve the problem under computation of tax incidents with respect to individual. So with this, I'm going to wind up this session. I'll meet you in the upcoming session. Until then, thank you all. Have a nice day. Namaste.